Tonight's project was a PV Mark VI base, and it's kind of interesting. It wasn't working right, and uh, I was checking the amp out, and I checked the negative rail on the collectors. I had minus 54 volts. Checked the positive rail on the collectors, had positive 54 volts. Uh, in checking the emitter and base on the positive side, I had plus 0.5 on the base, which is normal, and zero on the emitter, which is also normal. But on the negative side, I had zero on the base and zero on the emitter. So it's obvious this entire bank of uh, output transistors was not getting turned on. So I took out the transistors and tested them. And of course they all test good, but I wanted to just make sure. So then I go to the driver, which is a 5332. And that's located right here. And I had the minus 54 going to the collector. But the, the emitter on that was zero. And the base was kind of low. Don't remember exactly what. So thinking maybe that thing's not passing any any voltage to the output section to turn on those transistors. So I took it out and tested it and test good. So then I gotta check, compare it to the complementary side. And the one thing I found was I have my 54 volts on the collector on, on the high rail. And it's interesting that on the schematic, The collector shows that it goes directly to the collector of the driver transistor. But this version that I have on my bench is slightly different. There is a 4.7 ohm resistor between the 54 rail on the outputs and the driver. And sure enough, when I tested that resistor, it tested open. So there is no 54 voltage getting to this collector. And that just threw off the, the whole circuit. So I replaced the 4.7. And uh, all the voltages come back online. You have positive 1.1 on the base, plus 0.5 on the emitter, which biases these output transistors. And you have the exact mirror image of it, only in the negative realm down here. And there's also 4.7 down here. So if you ever have a zero voltage on the base, go ahead and check this 4.7. And if you ever have zero voltage on this base, you'd want to check this 4.7 ohm resistor. It's not on the schematic, but it's on the circuit board.